smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, today I was gonna make a video on pretty much adding center caps to my car. Um, you know, center caps. Isn't, isn't that cool? I bet you guys are really interested in me installing center caps or trying to make it work. Um, so I, I, I made, honestly, I went through the video, I put on some center caps and I was thinking to myself, who would want to watch this? I wouldn't watch this. Why would I tell you guys to watch this? This is pointless content. So what I decided to do, when you guys recommended a video to me and talking about how you guys wash a wrapped car, I think that's kind of a good idea. But um, you know, it, it's not really much to it, not much to expand off of. So today I wanted to make a video on the ups and downs of having or owning a wrapped car. Now I haven't made a video like this in a while, you know, kind of just talking about like straight facts rather than um, a vlog. But I mean, I, th I think it's a pretty, it's a, it's, a, it's a time to make a pretty decent video on this car. Especially these are the videos that tend to do good, tend to do good over time on my channel for some reason. So I'm going to probably go off with like, let's do three ups and three downs. Let's go something like that. So let's start with the ups. The biggest thing that I love about having a wrapped car, my number one one thing is the attention it gets. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on this hat, make it look more like. So this is from Avery, it's called Riptide, Satin Riptide, something like that. And just for the specs, just for you guys know, I used about five by, I believe, five by 55 uh, for the car. I would recommend five by 60. Um, but that's how much I used for this car, and that's with messing up, so that's for him to mess up. Anyways, getting back to the topic of this video. The first up about this car has to be the fact that it gets a lot of attention. Now, as you guys can see, my car is pretty much the Riptide wrap with a lot of black accents. I have um, the black door handles, I have the black roof, black um, side mirror caps, black you know rims. My car, the theme of it is pretty much just like black and then the Riptide, the, the, the actual wrap itself. Now, when I'm driving alone, People always stop by and be like, that's a really nice color, nice paint job, stuff like that. People, I mean, to be honest, even if you have a very nice BMW, like very nice, most likely people are not gonna say, you know, nice car, because they've seen it. They've seen people with nice, rich cars, but the num it, it, rap is kinda new. So a lot of people haven't seen, you know, paint that changes color, so it's kinda new to them, and they, it really grabs their attention, and they just wanna ask questions because it's the first time they've seen it. It's a cool experience to have when someone comes up to you and be like, yo, nice car, I love the color. Last night when I went to McDonald's, um, just to get some ice cream. Uh, me, my cousin, and Mohammed, we all have color shifting cars. I mean, me, my brother, and Mohammed, we all have color shifting cars. We drove together, and I had a subscriber pull up next to me and be like, yo, my, uh, my daughter watches your videos. I was like, oh, that's what's up, that's pretty sick. Um, but the only way he probably could have caught me is if my car was how it was, and you know, uh, having the gang all together was kind of cool. It does bring a lot of attention, so if that's something you guys are into, voila, get a color shifting wrap. The second thing is, it's gonna be the reason why I got this wrap in the first place. Now, I, to be honest, I did get it because I didn't like the color of this car, but the, the second reason why I got a wrap is to protect the paint of the car. Now, I knew that I was gonna do a lot of things to this car. Now, it's gonna be like replacing bumpers, it's gonna be like, you know, replacing seats and stuff. I'm going in and out of the car, pulling out things, putting in things. I didn't wanna ruin the paint. Um, as you guys know, BMW paint costs a lot of money. It probably costs more than the value of the car to get it repainted. So wrap actually protects the whole paint of the car and when you peel it off, it actually even cleans it up. So having a wrapped car is beneficial. Um, it can help with resale, kinda. Some people kinda iffy buying a wrapped car. Um, but if you have before and after pictures, you're fine. But make sure you take some before pictures so they know your car wasn't like six different colors and you just wrapped over it or it has like rust underneath and they're just like, you know, you're covering up something. Uh, my car, fresh paint, never had an issue besides, you know, the rear bumper, the front bumper are aftermarket so they aren't the original color, um, which I have pictures of and I will let the next buyer know. But if I ever peel this off, guys, you're gonna see like almost like fresh paint, which is really nice about having a wrapped car. It, um, it protects the original paint of the car. And the third up in my opinion is the fact that you can get your car in any color you want in in a very affordable rate like you you can probably you can change the whole color of your car for under three hundred dollars like if you have three hundred dollars and you're like oh I don't like the color of my car it's possible I don't get some cheap paint like some plastic dip or whatever you can order about five by forty material and that's most I said it probably fit most cars my car is a big car and I did every single paint individual if you just laid that five by forty you could probably do the car and it costs you like under three hundred dollars for a solid color it's gonna it's gonna change your entire car as somebody that's always replacing parts on their car it's a lot more affordable buying a bumper and then wrapping it for like fifty dollars rather than actually taking the bumper to a shop painting for like three to four hundred dollars because that's how much they quoted me three to four hundred dollars is a that's how much i bought the bumper why would i want to pay that again just to paint so you're talking about like eight hundred dollars 
just to replace the bumper, that's crazy. So I bought the bumper for about $300 and then I wrapped it for about, I think it was like 80 bucks, something like that. So it's really doable. And at the same time, it is, if you ever gotta replace the bumper, it's easier to sell it because it hasn't been painted. It's still, you know, ready to get painted. Um, so if someone else wants to buy the bumper, I peel off the wrap, give it to them, they can paint it. Whatever they wanna do with it, doesn't matter to me. Um, but, you know, it's a lot cheaper, a lot affordable, and if anything's gotta get replaced on the car, you don't have to repaint it. Just buy a wrap, you can do it yourself. I just find that, you know, very convenient because painting is, is an art. You need to be good at painting in order to paint. So, this is, uh, wrapping it, to be honest, guys, it's really not that hard. You can do it, and you can save a lot of money. Alright, now let's get into the downsides. Now, you guys know, wrapping cars, it's not very easy, but it's not very hard either. So, as you guys can see, my in, my the inside of my door seals. This is like the color of my paint. Let me show you guys real quick. Now I know, I know, I did, I did pretty good on that, especially for being my first car. I appreciate it. Um, but anyway, so that's the color of my car, the original paint, and then that's my wrap. As you guys can see, if I want to go all, if I want to do all this, it's gonna be a lot of work and it's very hard to do. And at the same time, let's just say your car is red and your wrap is like black. When you open up your door, you're gonna notice all that. I mean. Let's be honest, you're not gonna you're not gonna wrap over all this. This is no way. So the unfortunate part is that if you really have a bright I think my color is alright. I mean it doesn't really stand out too much. So that's kind of a plus. But if your car is like red or yellow or something like that, some crazy color, um, when you open up your door, no matter what your even if you wrap your car in white, you're gonna see red as soon as you open up your doors, and it's really gonna stand out. Unless you get it professionally wrapped, but then you're talking the same price as you know, just painting your car. Since I have the camera at this angle already, let me show you guys another, the second biggest thing that I hate about having a wrap car. And if you guys look, I don't know if you guys can see that, but mostly on the black, it gets dirty real easy. As you guys can see, like this, I literally washed this car maybe two days ago. And it, for some reason, it just gas, it, it, it's parked outside too. How does it have so much dust? I have no idea. So as you guys know, um, you know, rocking that ECS, shout out to ECS again for sending me out that strut bar. I have what I, this is what I use to pretty much get all the dust off my car. Um, this pretty much, you know, just does this magic if I pull it on out real quick, as you guys can see. Dust, say no more. So, it, I mean, it's not the end of the world. You can easily get dust off with that, but it's just a pain in the ass that so you pretty much have to go outside every single day and you have to pretty much undust your entire wrap because it gets real dusty real quick. So that's probably the second thing. And uh, let me try to think of a third. While I'm making this video, I can just imagine the comments right now. <laughs> Don't hate on me, guys. I'm telling you guys from personal experience. I'm not, I wouldn't be lying to y'all. Why would I be bashing on my own car? But let me let me think of a third thing that I really don't like about it. I just thought maybe a third thing would be the fact that it's peeling from some angles. I mean, some angles weren't done, you know, the best, so it's peeling a little bit. But to be honest, that's more of like a user mistake. That's more of the person that did its mistake. So if you get it professionally done, you're not gonna have that issue. Uh, but someone like me that messed up a little bit, you're gonna have that issue. Um, and just a little bit on the bumper, because you guys know the front bumper is very hard to do. But that's not gonna be number three, because that's more of you, uh, the person that did it mistake, not really anything to do with rap itself. I just thought of it. And actually, it's, 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 kind, of, it's kind of a serious topic. So the biggest, actually, I just, I just remembered, guys. The biggest thing that I really don't like about rap is the fact, not only that it gets dusty, but it'll never be like paint. Now, the only time that you're gonna witness your wrap acting like paint is when you wash it. When you wash it, uh, I'm gonna try to get a clip in here when I get my car washed today. Um, when you put water on it, it looks beautiful. Like it actually, it, it, the, the colors come at you like it's alive, like how paint would look. Actually, I just thought of something. I actually just saw like two of things. So I might, I might actually do a three and a four. Well, the three is the fact that wrap will never ever feel like paint. It will never look like paint. Um, I mean, you can get a wrap that is gloss and it's gonna look like paint, but it's never gonna feel like paint. And um, you know, the feeling of paint is a whole other feeling, to be honest. Like, you won't know what I'm talking about until you, do, you you don't get to touch paint. Just the gloss feeling, the texture of it, um, and the fact that it, you know, if you have a this is the th this is the fourth part. If you have like a swirl or something like that on the paint, you can get that buffed out. But on a wrap. If you got a scratch, you got a scratch. Like you got to deal with. It. Let me show you guys something that. Uh, oh man, you really can't see it in here so much. I'm gonna get the car outside for you guys. But basically, when I accidentally use some bad towels and I scratch my wrap, it's scratched. Like that's it. You can't buff it out. It's a wrap. It's a material. So that's the fourth thing. But the third thing is that wrap will never feel like paint. And um, if you guys are really into some like super clean. Um, show cars, wrap is probably not for you. Um, it gets very dirty very easy, like I said. It shows marks, uh, not luckily not through photos, but in person you can really tell. 
and uh, of course, just the feeling of it will never feel like pain. So that kind of sums it up. Let me get the car out in the garage uh, outside so I can show you guys the marks on the car and uh, you know share that in the imperfections I was talking about earlier. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a couple lines on the hood. Um, at certain angles, you guys can see it. There's like a one giant one right there, a couple right here. Some are kind of reflecting. There's a couple right there. It's mostly on the hood. But other than that, everything else, you know, is pretty good. Now, in my opinion, I I'm going to say in the end, what I recommend you guys wrapping your cars. If you guys were like me, and your car, like you got a good deal on your car, but the color is not what you wanted, and the color is like a deal breaker, kind of, Wrapping your car is not the end of the world. It, it can solve your problem. It's not a permanent fix, but it solves your problem. And at the same time, you, you love your car. I mean, a wrap, don't get me wrong, is very nice. It's, it does the trick. It makes your car look like the way you want it to look. It just won't feel the way that you want it to feel. But as of now, guys, as of now, if I was to buy another car, I wouldn't wrap it right off the bat. But if you guys had a painted car, you want something new, I would wrap it. Honestly, I'll probably be wrapping all my cars from here on out, but I want some crazy designs on it. Um, I mean, wrap, it has its advantages, like crazy designs and stuff. So, yes, I would wrap my car. I have no regrets wrapping my car. I love it. And um, it's not that hard to try, guys. 400 bucks. Worst case, you mess up on a few panels, you spend five, six hundred dollars. That's a lot cheaper than getting a paint job. So if you think about it, definitely worth it. So to conclude the video without the Daily Driven Exotics hat, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found the information informative. Smash the like button. Remember to stay humble and uh, peace out. Shawty hit my line and she's trying to get up on me. I tell her like Habibi, that's too hot on my line. Where they are? I was raised with some mollies. Everyone got a friend named Abdi. I'm from OT 613